Ubisoft flew me over to Sweden to play the new Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, and this is how it went down. I am so fortunate to have played this early, so once again, I cannot thank Ubisoft enough for this opportunity. So in this video, I am going to give you guys my very first impressions upon playing the game, and also I'm going to be sharing some of the things that we've learned during our time with the dev team, some of the questions that we've asked them. Luckily, they were kind enough to actually reply to them without spoiling us too much. Therefore, it's safe to say that there will be a lot of content coming our way. So with that, let's get right into this video. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is an upcoming open-world action-adventure game based on the Avatar film series developed by Massive Entertainment and published by Ubisoft. The game is scheduled to release on PlayStation 5, Xbox on December 7th, 2023. So yes, the same people that made the movies Avatar and Avatar Way of the Water help craft Frontiers of Pandora, which means sound design, world building, characters, just everything you see within this game was perfectly crafted with love and a lot of time from the dev team and the movie uh, crew as well. One thing for sure that I've learned about Ubisoft Massive Studio, the dev team that made the game themselves, they are all about quality. So attention to detail is a key element for this game when they were building the game from scratch. Visually, I was baffled by how beautiful this game was. But not only that, we were told that the game focuses on things such as weather, and how it may affect you as a player when you're in certain circumstances. So if there's like a storm, you may even get hurt by the storm if you're nearby its deaths. The wildlife within Pandora, how they move around and everything. The map size, how big and vast it is, how lively it feels. Although big, it still feels super lively and dangerous, which means at any given point, you may get a surprise. Whether that surprise is a pleasant one, we'll have to wait and see. So one of the things that was asked during our time uh, with Ubisoft is that, do we have to have watched the movies to understand this game? The answer was no, simple and clear, and you can play this game without having watched the movies at all. And for your information, this movie is confirmed to be canon according to James Cameron himself, the director of the movies, and that this game will coexist with the films, giving us players the opportunity to explore a new corner of Pandora. So you play the game in first person perspective, you take control of a Navi orphan raised and trained as a soldier by the RDA team, before being put into suspended animation and waking up 15 years later in an abandoned facility. So like the movies, your job of course is to fight off the RDA team out of your planet and protect your people and your home. One mini game or core mechanic within Avatar from Tears of Pandora that you can do as a player is the ability to harvest fruits, ingredients that you can use to cook back at the hub. And I don't know about you guys, but this to me screams difficulty level might be frightening. Only because I fear that the reason why we have this mechanic is that the player is able to go out there and not get destroyed as often. Also the dev team said something about keeping things simple and not too complicated. So for example, you know how many games do this thing where they make you or force you to collect different types of materials from here and there and instead of that they made it so that you can do one particular thing and depending on the way you harvest the materials or things as such will give you the higher grade quality. So make sure you pay attention on how you harvest these materials because if you harvest them properly, you will get the higher grade uh, version of it. But of course, if you do not want any buffs whatsoever, you wanna go out there and just fight off the enemy with your own capable self, 
then you can of course do that. So upon reaching the hub, you talk to the cooking station and you start making yourself some food. And depending on the ingredients that you pick, it tells you exactly what buffs you're going to get, whether it's fire resistance or poison resistance or anything as such, or stamina, a bigger bar or a longer resistance to things like poison or anything as such then you can just see whichever buff you're gonna go for depending on the quests or area you're going to visit so let's say you want damage just that just damage buff then you may cook yourself a damage buff meal and that should just be fine for the quest you're going to tackle and if you're also wondering if there's day and night cycle well there is there's even weather cycle so it's something that you're really gonna look forward to okay and one of the craziest thing i've heard during the presentation uh, and the questionnaires that we've had is that the dev team said when there's a storm make sure you fly above the clouds and watch the sunset or anything as such like that you know and it, it just blew me on mind just to think just thought of that okay i everyone was just like what now now ladies and gentlemen let's talk about my favorite aspect of the game your mount aka your ikron this is something that blew me away like the experience the first time you fly it it really did put me through the roof i was like hold on i was not ready for this why is flying this thing this much fun you know one of the questions that were asked actually is that whether this game is going to be like a avatar frontiers of pandora far cry edition basically you know well I for one have never played the Far Cry game series because I'm not much of a shooter, uh, first person perspective in, in general, I'm not a fan at all but this game changed my mind, it actually made me want to give it a try and after my experience and my time with it, just the 2 hours, I wanted the 2 hours to be longer, it felt like I played for 10 minutes and it just ended, it, it was ridiculous, I was like wait hold on how are we already done with this game when I just started playing. To be honest, I was also still getting acquainted with the buttons and things, so I tend to just dig deep when it comes to mechanics and learning the games itself. So this is why I kind of like, you know, time just flew by me immediately, just like that, you know? So my first opportunity, literally the first opportunity I had when I was battling this ship or a helicopter, I soared through the skies, called Ikran, and then dismounted it, proceeded to shoot the the air I, don't, I can't remember whether i shot the helicopter but i just tried doing this right i mounted it went all the way up in the air dismounted it mid-air shot and then called it back before i landed on the ground obviously and then um rode it again and then on my way home after the event had ended i was like oh man i'm bummed out because what if we could have landed on the helicopter and actually just stood there and punched it or something like that and then jumped off after we destroyed it obviously before the explosion took place and then called our Ikran to keep like flying around you know that would have been so insane but this is just a glimpse of things that I was thinking of already when I was playing this game I was already doing a Tom Cruise nonsense within this game so it's something that we're definitely going to have fun with and lastly ladies and gentlemen they said that this game can be played with a friend from top to bottom all you have to make sure is that you guys are on the same place so for example you cannot be further ahead than your friend and then them joining you and catch up with you in story or side quest you do have to be in the same place so if you have a friend that you particularly like and you would like to start the game together then you'd start the game together do everything together you probably finish the game at the same point if you do that that way that is something that i wasn't expecting at all so me and my friend are definitely going to be playing this together so it is something that i was really excited about i feel like this game would really leverage from multiplayer co-op and therefore in the future if they ever expand it to be like a four player co-op with like a bigger mass destruction type of infiltration into the rda base or something and then like take them down with like big machinery or stuff like that i feel like it'd be something pretty epic you know like a raid type of event that would be pretty awesome but it's something that i'm just hoping for the future of this game and uh they even spoke about dlc which uh which they didn't really disclose too much information on but um it's something that we can expect in the near future so yeah that is it boys i hope you guys are as just as excited as i am for this game cannot wait for it as it comes out on december 7th make sure to check out in the description down below everything related to avatar frontiers of pandora there's a link you can click on and check it out and also pre-order the game if you fancy doing so don't forget to drop us a like if you enjoyed the video thank you so much for your time i will see you in my next video Take care.